hi everyone so today i'll be discussing about uh, a thing that i wanted to discuss because i see the misuse of that very oftenly amongst the common man and that is using mouthwashes daily so the question comes are we supposed to use mouthwashes daily because see mouthwashes are prescribed and they are helpful but are we supposed to use it daily so see the mouthwashes that we get in the market are available in such packages in in such packaging and in such forms and this is not targeting any particular company or it's not targeting any particular uh, composition or any particular brand i am just talking about mouthwashes in general first uh, we need to understand that what are they basically and how do they work so uh, there are many mouthwashes depending upon the composition that it's actual ingredient largely it is chlorhexidine and the another element is listerine so most of the mouthwashes that are commonly available in market are either chlorhexidine based or listerine based and largely amongst these two is chlorhexidine so i'll discuss chlorhexidine specifically here see chlorhexidine is just a positively charged organic agent antiseptic agent okay and obviously it's used in um, uh, dental care or oral care because it reduces the plaque and it reduces the gingivitis score that means it reduces the bacterial film that is a head onto the tooth and it also reduces the gingival inflammation or the gingival redness in common terms that you see now how does it act so see chlorhexidine has got a typical feature which gives it an advantage over its peers and that is substantivity that means it it remains for a certain amount of time in your mouth even after you've used it you've swished it you've gargled it you've thrown it even then it stays in your mouth because it binds to the anionic that means negatively charged phosphoproteins and glycoproteins it is positively charged so it's going to attach to the negatively charged phosphoproteins and glycoproteins that are present inside your mouth that means the inside skin that we call as the oral mucosa it attaches to that and it also attaches to the thin bacterial layer that is on to the tooth surface when it attaches to that obviously what it's going to do it basically precipitates or it causes all its inside components i am explaining it in super easy layman terms so that the layman can understand so that the layman can understand because this all my videos are largely dedicated to educate the common man okay so what it does is it seeps inside the bacteria it causes the leakage of all the intracellular components that means it causes the leakage of all the elements that are inside the cell and primarily the atp nucleic acid that means adenosine triphosphate nucleic acid and all that and then it ruptures the cell membrane right it ruptures the cell membrane because of which all the things inside the cell they leach out causing the death of the cell and ultimately the death of the microorganism also so this is how they work now see yes we use it in mouth but it is not just used in mouth you know it has application elsewhere also like like it's used as an antiseptic skin and wound cleanser for most of the pre surgical preparation of the patient it's even used in hand washes surgical scrub preservative and for ophthalmic products and in very light dilute concentration peritoneal cavity and urinary bladder also so it has many other um usage usage is also so anyways now the question comes that why is it so common amongst all the thing is it's common because it has very little or no toxicity oral toxicity or systemic toxicity that means in your body in the concentration that we used uh, and the concentration that we use is i'll mention it here itself it's 0.12% of chlorhexidine 
although the effective concentration to kill the bacteria and all that uh, action that I showed of chlorhexidine in my previous slide that how it works for that to happen we require 0.2 percent of chlorhexidine and the thing that we get in market is 0.12 percent chlorhexidine so you can yourself estimate the power of chlorhexidine left now so it's anyways of no use then it has got it has got no drug resistance that means uh, it does not happen that you keep on using it and it loses its effectivity so that's drug resistance that does not happen with chlorhexidine and it has got a broad antimicrobial activity that means it covers the gram positive bacteria the gram negative bacteria all that works on a lot of large number of microorganisms in simple layman terms now the thing is that fine if it is not advocated to use it daily then when are we supposed to use it and then why are they there in the market so we are actually supposed to use it only when it is prescribed by your dentist you know when usually a root canal treatment is going on or you have a large swelling or you have an infection accordingly depending upon the situation your dentist or your periodontist will tell you uh, that how you're supposed to use it for long for how long you're supposed to use it okay the way of using it and then also in children with a medium or high risk of caries that means when you see you have a lot of uh, cavitated teeth or you have a lot of caries uh, in those children or who frequently develop caries or cavities then in that case and also that is upon the doctor obviously you cannot start on your own everything has to be under the surveillance of your dentist and also in specially abled children or disabled population who are not dexter enough to brush the teeth on their own then this can help as an adjunct this can uh, you know provide a helping hand uh, to not that effective mechanical brushing okay now what are the side effects if we end up using it every day see it happens after a very long period of time but when it happens it does not go back it's not that you stop using it then it's going to revert back easily so that is why uh, the side effects are quite considerable and that is staining of teeth it does not go away easily okay then uh, impaired taste sensation that is also very irritating and uh, increased supra gingival calculus formation that means those, those white deposits that you see around your teeth near your gums that increases and listerine specifically listerine it has got a very high amount of alcohol it has got 25 percent of alcohol and because of that alcohol content of listerine it gives a burning sensation and uh, probably because of that itself it has a bitter taste so that's about it and uh, i see this very commonly happening amongst the common patient which is why i felt like they should be educated about this if there's anything else you would want me or you would like me to talk about explain about to let me know in the comment section that's it for now thank you